Are you guys looking for that edge to take your damage to the next level? Well, I've got just the thing for you. It's called Advanced Combat Tracker. And today I'm gonna to show you exactly how to install it. So sit back, grab yourself a beer, and let's talk about it. All right, guys, we're gonna make this quick and easy. Um, all you need to do is just go to advancedcombattracker.com slash download.php. I'll make sure and put that in the comment section so uh, you can just simply click or copy paste that link. Then, real simple, click Advanced Combat Tracker Setup. You're gonna download that bad boy. Go ahead and run it, obviously. What this is gonna do is it's gonna let this uh, setup run. Install it wherever you'd like to install it at. Uh, we'll go ahead and install it wants to go uh, we're gonna go ahead and let it go all right at this point it will be on your desktop uh, notice the cheesy background um, but then also you're going to right click advanced combat tracker head on over to properties go to compatibility and then you just want to make sure that this is checked right here run this program as an administrator it's not being ran as an administrator it's not gonna work correctly all right then we're gonna go ahead and run this program okay uh, just go ahead and hit next. Green bar will go through and you'll see FX, FFXIV parsing plugin. Go ahead and hit that download and enable plugin. Once again, the green bar is gonna go through and parsing plugin has been added and started. All right, so then that's uh, done there. You're just gonna go ahead and hit next. It's gonna ask, will ACT be used for Final Fantasy 14? Yes, it will. Uh, go ahead and hit uh, auto load recently changed log files then you go ahead and hit next and then real simply just hit close one thing of note guys make sure you notice that i am currently in windowed mode you also can be in the borderless windowed mode but uh, you want to be in one or the other right there for sure all right so next thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and go to plugins plugin listing then get plugins right here. And we're going to look for 77 Final Fantasy 14 plus others overlay plugin. All right, so then we're going to go to download and enable. And you're going to see this plugin has been added and started. So download, bar is going to go twice. Da -de -da -da -da. Uh, while that's going, make sure you hit like and subscribe. <laughs> then you're going to go on up to number 78, Final Fantasy 14 Cactbot. Download and enable that. Once again, it's going to do the exact same thing. Uh, from the zip, one plugin has been added and started. Great. All right, at this point, we're just going to go ahead and close this out. Uh, and then we're just going to reload it and mess around with some more settings. Advanced. Track. All right, so we've got it back up. We're going to go to plugins. Then we're going to go to Final Fantasy 14 overlay settings. And we're just going to go ahead and click all these. Hide overlay, click through, hide name, hide hit points. We're going to do this on all of them. Okay. Focus target, hover target, hide name, target a target. All these bad boys right here. Click through, hide name, hide HP. You need all of them to be clicked. Then we're gonna go over here to overlay plugin.dll. All right, so then we're gonna go over here, we're gonna hit new, and you can name this really whatever you want, but obviously it's a DPS meter. So let's go ahead and name it DPS meter, exclamation. And then these right here are just different, uh, you know, whatever uh, uh, skins, I guess you could call it. We're gonna go ahead and check out and see what Klondike is. I don't really like that one. I like the Ember overlay the best. I think it's uh, real clean, but uh, you guys play around, figure out which one you guys like the most. What I do like is having your Final Fantasy game open. That way, as you guys can see, I can adjust this and put it how it is that I would like it to be. Um, at the bottom right here, I can make it bigger, smaller, things like that. I like to have it to where it's just covering damage percentage and DPS. Um, another really cool thing is that I can actually move this over to a second monitor. Now you guys can't see my second monitor over to the right, but it is there and it's actually overlay on top of that right there. 
my monitor is close enough to this monitor that it, it fits pretty well. But you know, if you want it to be on your normal screen, then by all means, put it wherever you want. It's your damage. All right, after you hit OK, uh, then you're going to want to go to DPS meter and back in the uh, settings. And there's two things you probably want to do. One is going to be lock overlay. And what that's going to do is that's going to make it to where when I click on it, I can't drag it anymore. But suddenly if I unclick it, guess what? I can drag it and do whatever, right? Enable click through. So what that also is going to do is that if I accidentally am over here clicking whatever, and then I click heal, it's not gonna switch over from DPS to heal, right? Um, so enable click through and boom. See how that just clicked right through to Tataru there? Uh, works out pretty well. That one's really up to you. Um, I personally like that because I end up uh, clicking random places that I don't mean to, so it saves me from uh, that trouble. And there you go. Once, uh, once you've done all those steps, then you are good to go. If you guys notice, uh, it already is, is working. I mean, it's, uh, there's absolutely no issues. You guys can see over there on the right, it is calculating my damage. It's calculating my party member's damage. Um, it's uh, a great tool to have. And there you go, guys. That's how you install Advanced Combat Tracker. I hope that this video was very helpful for you. If it was, make sure and like this video. Hit that subscribe button, as I will be posting Final Fantasy XIV content on a weekly basis. Also, if you'd like to, join the Bone Star Gaming Discord, where we talk about Final Fantasy XIV all day long. Thank you guys so much for watching, and uh, I'll see you next week. Don't start gaming out.